Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot and we're late today, very late, so two short readings and uh, I'm going to use the same tarot deck for both of them because they're very similar readings just with different YouTubers that I'm looking at today. Tarot deck I'm going to use is the Apprentice Tarot. I'm late because it's been a wild day, first of all lots of birthdays. June kicks off for a beginning to end for me birthdays. Uh, it's crazy. It's a crazy month for birthdays in my world. So that's the first thing, but the weather has been crazy as well. Floods, uh, wild seas, tornadoes, not where I live, but um, tornadoes where friends of mine live, very worrying, and uh, weird energy around in the world. So uh, it's taken me a while to get myself together to get to the tarot table, but I want to look at something today. I want to look at a couple of YouTubers who are seemingly in Megan's sights. And the first is the Sidley Twins. And they uh, covered the First Lady of Nigeria's speech. Uh, it was to some women's organization, as far as I can recall. Uh, talking about, the First Lady was talking about nakedness and how it wasn't part of Nigerian culture. She was very disapproving. She mentioned the Met Gala. She mentioned American film stars. Then she mentioned Meghan Markle and uh, coming to Nigeria to find herself. And it did sound as if she was directly criticizing Meghan Markle and her clothing or lack of clothing in that Nigeria tour. Now a whole lot of us covered that speech on YouTube from all kinds of angles, tarot, uh, body language, just social commentary, whatever. Everyone was looking at it because it was quite startling. And uh, for some reason, the Sidley twins have been singled out and are now being accused of misinformation, well Nancy in particular. And a lot of people have been looking at this, um, H.G. Tudor has, the Royal Grift has been looking at it and it's started to get a bit serious. Fact checkers were uh, called in. Uh, we suspect by Montecito, uh, the fact checkers went out and got a statement from the first lady's office. No, no, she wasn't criticizing Meghan. And uh, it's all now being fingers pointed at the Sidleys for spreading misinformation. The Royal Grift has now figured out that even AI, ChatGPT has been roped in and ChatGPT is reframing the narrative to make it out as if the poor Sidley twins <laughs> are guilty of terrible misinformation and uh, Meghan Markle is innocent. So today, Apprentice Tarot, I'm going to do a quick reading. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to know, want to know how Meghan feels about these two girls. Uh, they're similar uh, backgrounds, um, maybe more or less the same vintage. I'm not quite sure about that. I think they are, although they look much more sprightly and well-kept and uh, fit and hale and hearty and fun than um, Our Lady of Montecito does. And I'm going to have a look at this to see how she feels about them, what her intentions are towards them. They, of course, called out Miss and Harriman, or their father did, uh, for alleged photoshopping, so that didn't go down too well. So you can understand why they might have suddenly become a thorn in her side. And uh, does she watch them? I think the thing that I'm most interested in is whether she actually hate watches these people or not. So that's what we're heading today. And we're going to ask ultimately who's going to triumph, Megan and her um, henchmen, her fact checkers, and her people who are talking to ChatGPT, or the Sydney Twins. And of course, let's remind you, this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion. It's all speculation. I just read energy here and there is a disclaimer in the box below. Uh, one more shuffle. Give our energy. My energy is very scattered today. Um, don't know how you are feeling. June, first half of June, pretty wild. I feel. Let's see. And I think the Sidley twins are tough. I think they know what's what. As I say, I think they come from the same world, live in the same world, but live in it better than Megan does. Page of Pentacles, um, it's a small fry. And 
uh, one of the, 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 the reasons why uh, they're probably being targeted is they're quite a small channel, certainly bigger than mine, but they are small fry, so they're re relatively easy target with that page of pentacles to uh, pick off, to attack, to try and intimidate uh, with that page of pentacles. I think that's pretty straightforward as our underlying energy. If there were a big channel like HD Tudors or the Royal Rogue or someone like that, uh, the Royal Griffith, it would be harder to try and bully them, to try and um, twist things against them, which is my opinion. I do believe that the First Lady really intended to um, target Meghan Markle very directly, even though she has now walked it back. Understandably, I saw that energy uh, that that would happen pretty much. And when I read on it, but this is, this is, uh, it's bullying energy, really, the little page of pentacles. Um, that's what's coming through for me at an energy level. So let's see the situation that we are dealing with today. We're dealing with um, looking to fill the void, the eight of cups in reverse, aimless drifting, quickly dissatisfied. It's a stronger energy than that for me. Um, it's uh, it's painful energy, the Ace of Cups. It's talking about a, a wounding situation. And when it's in reverse, a wounding situation that you can't just walk away from, you can't leave. So for Megan, what was meant to be her great triumph in Nigeria, and we know about the letter that she's now written to the person who gifted her that very fancy title, which apparently isn't that fancy after all, according to Nigerian commentators I've seen around and about. Uh, but anyway, what was meant to be her big triumph, doing a royal tour while the actual royals are all incapacitated, has turned into a source of real uh, embarrassment for her. So first of all, the fraud star and the airline the guy with the airline that turns out to be a bit dodgy the shady people they've been associated with then the first lady coming out and making the speech and uh, it's all been very difficult for megan she did leak uh, allegedly that letter uh, to his imperial majesty um, saying how wonderful it was to be gifted this title and she will be home again soon. Uh, but it's it's being subject to enormous ridicule since it's been uh, leaked. Let's use that word. This is a very a painful situation that, that is really bothering her, haunting her even. So how does she feel about the Sidley twins directly? Her feelings about them. Oh, Ten of Cups in reverse. They have ruined her, 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 her happiness pricked her balloon. Um, she really does feel this because Ten of Cups upright is happy, happy energy. Um, absolute um, completion energy in terms of happiness. This is the ultimate happiness. Uh, it doesn't get better than the Ten of Cups. So it's a bit fictitious uh, always, the rainbow. Um, but it's in reverse. They and she seriously feels this this is my energy reading of course and i'm just interpreting cards but according to the cards she seriously feels that they are to blame for turning what was going to be her greatest triumph into this source of grievance pain embarrassment disappointment ridicule whatever the words are those are all words that are just coming to mind they're all in this energy this eight of cups in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse uh, what are her, her intentions towards them oh seven of swords and you can read the keywords on this card deception sneaky stolen ideas information cheating getting away with something scheming those are the key words on this card that I have just read out. You can pick your poison amongst them. I would tend towards scheming as her intentions towards them. And I think we've already seen it. And it's certainly the Royal Grift has done some heroic research and exploring. She does, uh, she's a bit of a bloodhound and uh, she does uh, sniff these things out. And she has certainly sniffed out something dodgy going on, in my opinion and hers on um, AI, on ChatGPT, for instance. There it is, Seven of Swords. That is sneaky behavior, it says on the card. Um, scheming, so plotting, pretty much, is the energy that's coming through here. Uh, does she watch them? Does she sit with her 
a bottle of uh, the take as she calls it and watch them I've got the two of swords in reverse um, I don't uh, agree with these keywords just for the sake of these royal readings I've 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 made an emphatic decision with the two of swords when it's in reverse uh, for me myself on these uh, in these royal readings it's upright uh, indecision don't know which way to turn uh, very conflicted about something in reverse for me as a reader and these royal readings I read it as you bite the bullet you don't want to do it something you don't want to do but you do it you're forced into making a decision that's uncomfortable for you because you don't really know how it's going to pan out so in this context of does she watch or not I'm getting the sense that she does watch it goes against the grain to watch it's not something she wants to do but it's something that she feels compelled to do uh, you could describe it as hate watching them but I don't think hate watching I think it's watching against her better judgment that's more the energy that's coming through for me. I do think she does. I don't think consistently. I think she has a peak every now and then. Because you can see that the figure in the two of swords is blindfolded. Um, so I think every now and then she lifts that blindfold and she has a quick look. And, <gasps> and then she closes it again. And I think she has a quick look because I think they are similar background, age, experience uh, and I don't mean any disrespect to the Sibley twins when I say experience I don't mean all of the experiences I just mean that they move in the same world let's let's really clarify that um, and so it'd be particularly difficult for her to watch them talking about a world that she is also moving in and they're talking about it very confidently. They know it. They know they know how it works uh, in that world, the Kardashian world, the uh, that not a list world. Even even however much money they've got, however hard they're trying, it's that kind of grubby world. Not accusing the Sidley twins of being in that grubby world. They know how it goes. So I'm making a real mess. But hopefully you can pick through what I'm saying and uh, emerge with um, the, the true version of it. Um, let's move on to who's going to triumph in the end. Um, are the Sydney twins going to triumph over Megan? Or is Megan going to make life difficult for them, as she already seems to be intending to do with that Seven of Swords? What's going to happen? I've got the Six of Pentacles balancing inequity. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a positive card um, in the sense that it evens out. So I'm not getting the sense that either is going to dominate in the situation, even though you've got somebody here who's sort of doling out arms to two who are looking um, bereft and wretched uh, because it's the card of charity. But that means it's the card of giving, of being charitable, of being generous, of supporting people who are less well off than you are. That's where that um, artwork comes from. But the balance aspect of it is uh, what feels good to me. It feels like a good outcome because it feels like um, they aren't going to be intimidated. They're going to be, even though they're, they're, they're here as the Page of Pentacles, um, I'm getting the sense that they are there as able to maintain the equilibrium and the balance and give as good as they get. That's what's coming through strongly because it's reciprocity. So if you do something to me, I can do it back to you. Normally it's a good thing when the card is upright. You give to me, I give to you. It's fair, it evens out. So I think I keep saying this and it's been my consistent theme even though I haven't articulated it very well in this reading. My sense that they are almost peers uh, in this world. They're even 
in this world um, this card is confirming it for me six of pentacles so neither is going to dominate uh, it's going to carry on this way but they really have caused megan trouble they they really she thinks she thinks I, i'm not saying that they have uh, she feels it feelings we have lots of feelings here eight of cups in reverse ten of cups in reverse when it comes to uh, pointing the finger of blame she is pointing the finger of blame at them for ruining her happiness it's definitely scheming going on here and plotting with that seven of swords as far as i'm interpreting the energy allegedly i do think she peeps through her fingers every now and then and watches dips in and dips out I don't think she sits down every day and watches and I think it's going to turn out that they um, arrive at the end of the line equally together it's a tie basically with that six of pentacles which is great um, as far as they're concerned so there it is and I hope you enjoyed that reading and I will see you on the next one